Uh, I just, I haven't been feeling like too good um, lately. I just haven't, I'm not very happy at all. Um, and so, um, like my um, lecturer, my lecturer in my course, mm -hmm. they said I should probably come here and talk to someone. So. Okay, so you're feeling a bit sort of unhappy and mm. obviously someone's noticed that you're saying a lecturer sort of made a point of saying come here. Mm. Can you tell me a little bit about what's happening for you? What's what's going on for you? Um, just um, it's like I've just come over here. I'm from India, um, so I just came here to study. Okay. Um, and so I just finished my first semester, and um, like I'm missing my friends and yeah, um, and my family. So you know they're back in India, so okay. I haven't seen them in a while, and yeah, I've just. You know, I'd maybe, you know, maybe it's a, it was a bad idea to come mm. here and study. So, not feeling too happy about sure. that. So it sounds to me, and correct me if I'm not getting this right, but it sounds because you've moved from India over here, mm. that that kind of the social thing, your friends and your family, and that sort of connection, seems to be a bit lost. Is that kind of right? Yeah, yeah. Because I moved here. Um, yeah, it's only been six months, and I, mm. um, I really miss them. Like, <laughs> miss back home and. I thought it would be easier to kind of make friends and stuff here, but it's not like that. And right. So, yeah, so I've, yeah, I've been just thinking about if, you know, maybe I should go back or if this is for me. Okay. So that's kind of, a, it sounds to me that something you're sort of playing with at the moment, whether you, this has been a good decision for you to come out here or not. Yeah. If you wanted to go back. Mm, mm. And things are so much different back in India. Right. Like, um, because I went to school in India. Um, so it, it, things are really different there. So um, I, I just don't know if, like, if I can fit in here sure. as well. And like, even talking to people, like, I have very little in common with them. And right. So it must have been hard for your guests to come in today as well, if, if you find talking to people and that kind of stuff. So with, with coming out from India, you're saying that you know it's it's different. Mm. You know, there's a difference to coming out here. Can you tell me a little bit about? What's happening for you now and talking to me and how's that what sort of, sort of thing is going through your head? Um like what's happening right yeah. now. Um like I didn't really know what what we were gonna do or mm -hmm. together. Um but I thought I thought maybe you could uh, you know, um give me some things to make feel better sure. about things and tell me to do things that, you know, maybe will help me make friends and Okay. I don't, I don't know. Like, so yeah. this is just, uh, you, you've, I'm sort of curious about how you're feeling comfortable in talking to me about, you are saying you're having difficulties with talking to people out here and stuff like that, and I'm, I'm quite well aware that, you know. Yeah. So I'm just curious about how you're feeling comfortable in talking to me about what's happening for the moment, or is it? Yeah, um, yeah, it's fine, I can, I can talk about it. Sure. Um, I guess, like, I feel like, somehow I'm of like a lower lower class here right. like compared to India like like in India we have the caste system and um, you know and I'm from a family that's from a higher caste because we're Hindu and you know the people in the lower class you've you've got to think about like they, when they're around higher class people they don't talk immediately you know mm -hmm. and you have to be respectful and when I'm here like I don't know when to talk and when I say something it, it's funny or it's the wrong thing, so just and that makes me feel. Sure. Um, I, I'm not. I need to know a little bit more about India, so I'm just trying to get my head around that for myself. So, you're saying that there's a, there's a caste system mm. where you have higher and lower classes. Yeah. Castes, are they? Mm. And that that communication between those are kind of harder. Um, I think like in India, like because I'm Hindu. Okay. Um, and in Hindu, we have like different castes, and each caste, well, um, you know, it depends on the kind of work that you do. Like I'm from a um, class that's higher up, and we're priests, like we're Brahmins and we're priests, um, and so we're of a higher class. And they used to have like the people in the lower class are like untouchable, so they're the more um, like the manual workers and the cleaners and things right. like that. Um, and so there's this expectation that you know when they're around people like us, they should show respect and. Um, not talk out of, you know, line and um, be well behaved and um, okay. and usually they're quite uneducated and and like when when I'm here I kind of feel like that and 
that you feel? I feel, yeah, I don't know when to say things and I'm always getting things wrong and I just, and you know, back in India it's different, you know, sure. it wasn't like that. Just for my understanding, can you give me some examples of when you felt like you've got it wrong? What sort of happened out here where you kind of felt like you shouldn't have spoken or said something differently? Or um, like I guess in the tutorials, like, you know, and it's not anything big, but, you know, if, if I say something or because of my accent or, you know, people kind of laugh or, and, you know, that doesn't make me feel very good. So, um, even like talking to people, I don't know what to say because okay. um, I, I feel like we don't have anything in common much. Sure. So. Okay, so just for my understanding, I'm not sure I'm getting this, this, this kind of right. So you've been having some difficulties since you've come out from India. You've started university here, mm -hmm. and you feel there's a a difference that you you're picking up on that you you obviously missing your family and friends, which is one of the main things you've talked about. Mm -hmm. But also there's a difference in this cultural thing in that over in India there was a class thing in terms of when you talked and how you talked or who you talked to. Mm -hmm. Where over here that's not so easy, and you're feeling that when you do talk you shouldn't have done it all. Mm -hmm. So, it's about understanding that. So yeah, 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 yeah. And it makes me feel like, you know, like I'm of a lower caste, like, you know, like I was born into that. And, you know, like I'm not, like, you know, back in India, uh, I don't know, like I was more important and um, people knew what caste I was from. And, right. um, you know, and, but here it's all different and all that's, you know, back home and okay. people, like, don't understand how I feel. and. Um, like even when I try to explain it, people don't understand it. But yeah, I, I just feel like in India things were so much different and, mm -hmm. people, and it was because of the religion and because of the caste, people understood that. Mm -hmm. And But when I come here, I feel all these things and I feel like I shouldn't have to feel like that. Mm -hmm. So the comparison is in India, it seems a lot easier for you because mm -hmm. it seems to be an un everyone kind of knows there's this, it's given, but out here it's, it's harder for you because it's not known and mm. I'm curious about how being out here makes you feel of a lower class. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? About I don't know. Um, I just feel like I don't know when to say things and right. I'm unsure of myself and um, I feel like I've never felt like that in my life. Okay. Um, and and uh, you know that's those are the kind of things that you know maybe in my mind I think you know people of lower class sure. are thinking especially when they are on uh, people in the higher class like we have many workers at home or servants and they always you know they're very careful about what they say and what they do and I feel like you know like I'm like that now and and like I shouldn't be like okay so I'm, I'm curious about you know you're saying that you worry about what you say and how you say I'm just curious about our time together and, and with my not really understanding that kind of background for myself and us sort of trying to, I guess, help and talk things out and, and have communication. I'm wondering, you know, if I'm getting it wrong or if I could do something to make it a little bit easier for you or oh. I just wondering if you could help me out with that. I mean, is there something I could... Um, no, no, no. I didn't, like, yeah, I mean, I think by, by understanding how, like, things work in India, I think I can kind of explain, you can kind of understand how I feel. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I think a lot of how I feel is because of my religion and my my you know uh, my beliefs and okay. like I I don't know what religion you are, but you know a lot of people don't understand that and okay. and so I just feel like no one understands me and I can't talk to my parents about it because they just want me to be okay sure. and I don't want to burden them. So it's really important for me to understand you. That's that's I really want to understand what's happening for you, what's going on for you, and that sort of stuff. So. If there's anything that, that we're doing together when we're talking or anything on those lines, I wonder if you could help me out to understand if I'm doing something that makes me feel a bit uncomfortable or doesn't feel quite safe or right for you. Okay. If you could let me know, that would be really helpful. All right. Yeah, um, I can let you know. And then I think on top of that, I think there's a lot of things going for you as well as this. You're saying as well as the feeling socially isolated, that kind of moving from friends and family and that sort of stuff. Can you tell me a little bit more about what's happening with that for you? What's yeah, I miss my friends a lot. I thought when I came here, you know, I'll have different friends and things will be kind of easy, mm -hmm. like you see on TV. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's not, and and I feel like, you know, maybe it wasn't the best decision 
because I thought people would be friendlier and people understand more. Okay. Um, but you know, I had a few friends, but they were they also left, and um, you know, I just don't feel like people understand me, and and I think I'm a little bit angry as well. Like I don't want to understand them. And but it sounds to me, and correct me if I'm not got it right, but it sounds to me you're feeling quite isolated and alone out here. Mm. And that people really don't understand who you are, and when you do talk out, it, it kind of you don't feel you're getting it right, or mm. people are judging you. Is that that yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. And I feel like people just, yeah, they don't, like, they don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, maybe I don't know what it's like for them, but, you know, I just feel like uh, if they can't understand that, like, um, it, it, the gap is too big, um, that there's so much about me that don't know, um, that I don't think we can be friends or, you know, even have good friends like I have back in India. Okay. So. Can you give me any examples where you, you feel that that's, they really don't understand you, like where you've tried to talk to people and, and just so I can get a bit of a flavour of what's been happening for you in that sort of sense? Yeah, I guess like even in class and like having conversations with people at university, um, you know, I just feel like whenever I talk about India, they're kind of laughing at me. Okay. Um, it's, and I don't feel good about that because, you know, I, I really miss India and I really like the time mm. I spent there and when I and I say that I always get that feeling that they're kind of laughing at me and looking down on me and I don't like I don't like that and yeah. like you know I'm like in India I wasn't you know they do that with people in the lower caste and right. you know I'm yeah so when when you're having a conversation with someone if they laugh at you it kind of gives you the sense that they are putting you into a lower class and it makes you feel yeah it sounds to me that they, it's kind of a back in India where they they're putting you into a different class compared yeah. to where you were yeah kind of like uneducated or right oh uh, and you know and I'm not like that and and I feel like they're only doing that because they don't understand me and you know what India's are really about and okay do you talk to anyone about India or your background and that sort of thing? Um, I have some like family friends who are Indian, mm -hmm. um, but I feel like I feel like I can't tell them that I'm feeling sad or because there's you know my parents paid all this money um, for me to study here and okay. um, if I you know if I say I'm not happy then they'll feel bad and you know that's a lot of money wasted so right so the people that you feel you can talk to you also can't because of feeling like you would get back to your parents and there'd be a sense of, sounds like disappointment that they've mm. spent this money. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Makes it very difficult, doesn't it, when you've got mm. sort of, you know, those sort of areas to talk to and that sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, I just feel like no one understands and um, that, you know, I can't really talk to anyone and, mm. um, and so I guess that's why I feel isolated and, um, yeah. And don't have many friends. And sure. Yeah. So a lot of it could be come down to how, when you're talking to people and that sort of stuff, how that ends up making you feel. Mm. What kind of outcome does that give to you? What when you do feel like you're being put into a lower class? What What do you then do? I don't feel like doing anything at all. Mm. Like um, I just think you know what's the point uh, of doing this? Uh, I was really interested in my course and. Now I just I'm not I'm really bored in the lectures and right. um, like even assignments I don't feel like doing um, I just think what's the point and okay. um, like in the mornings when I wake up I just feel really heavy and um, sad and just I don't feel like doing anything. So it it seems so it's, it's spreading to other areas as well, mm. the, the ability not to be able to socialise and feel connected has sort of taken the passion out of your studies and about assignments and not feeling motivated to do anything, it seems to be, which you, is, I'm just trying to get that right for myself, is mm. that kind of the core of what's happening for you? I think it, it might be, I think it might be, um, um, I think, yeah, I think like you're saying, maybe, you know, maybe because I don't have friends and um, I'm not, I'm not, you know, and I'm, I'm feeling like unhappy and stuff mm. it's why I'm doing you know badly because there's no like I don't feel motivated um, like there's no like I don't want to get up and do things mm. and I think you might be right I think it may be because you know I am feeling unhappy right. about um, my circumstances so feeling unhappy is, is sort of taking away the, the motivation to do things mm. 
the ability to sort of get on with your assignments and study and yeah right. yeah and I want to do well like my parents have paid all this money and um, I really want to do well in my university studies mm. so it's important for you to do well by the sound of things mm. How does the your parents paying for things? How does that affect you? I mean, you just mentioned there that you, your parents paid all this money as well. But can you tell me a little bit about that? About what goes on for you with that? Yeah, like my my family are from sort of middle class, upper middle class kind of mm -hmm. family, and my father's worked very hard, um, you know, to try and get some money for me to come to Australia. Um, and so, you know, I was very excited about it, and I, you know, I feel like I have to work very hard to pay them back and. Right you know, grow up and maybe take care of them and bring them back here and, you know. Okay. But, um, and so I feel a bit selfish because I, you know, I'm just complaining about friends and, mm. but um, at the same time I just feel like no one understands me because oh. of what so it has part of it, there was, it sounds that there's expectation, mm. I guess, placed on you to, to do well mm. and that you're being sent out here to, to do well to be able to look after them, but there's, mm. it's hard to do well when you're feeling saying isolated and, and different out here mm. in terms of communicating with people and things along those lines. Mm, mm. So there's this, and as you were saying, it sounds like there's a, a bit of you saying, I feel a bit selfish, a bit bad by complaining about this when I've been, mm. they've spent all this money to send me out here. Mm. And in India, it's not like here, you know, you have to work very hard. Um, like my father's had to work his whole life to kind of save up money for me to come mm -hmm. here. And um, I feel, I don't know, like slightly irresponsible so, you know, I should be happy coming to Australia and doing university studies, but, you know, um, I'm just I'm not, it's not, it hasn't turned out to be the way I thought it would be, and right. I don't want to tell my parents that because, um, you know, then, you know, they'll be disappointed that if I went back home, I wouldn't get as good a job, and... Mm. So there's this massive expectation by the sound of things that you've even placing on yourself that they'd be disappointed if I didn't do really well. Mm. You mentioned earlier that it's been hard for you to do really well when you're feeling so isolated and so it's kind of a bit of a sticky thing there for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I guess it is, you know. And I just, yeah, I just don't see a real way out. And mm. But at the same time, I just don't, I don't know how I can keep going. Like, I've only finished one semester and the course is, you know, three years long. Um, I just want to go back home all the time and we can't really afford for me to go back home mm -hmm. um, and so I, yeah, I feel really stuck and yeah, yeah unhappy. There seems to be a lot going on for you at this point in time so apart from all these pressures and expectations of doing well out here and doing a degree there's also the social pressures of not mm -hmm. feeling like you're fitting in, yeah. feeling hard to connect with people and that sort of stuff, going back home mm -hmm. is kind of what you really want to do but there's mm -hmm. a sense of has been sent out here to, to mm. do something to get something so mm. I can imagine you're feeling quite stuck and isolated and alone and yeah and somehow like I feel like it won't improve right like um, I just don't I don't know I mean I like like you understand you know when I tell you how I feel but you know I don't know if other people will understand that right as much um, so what is it about us talking that makes you feel that you've been, I mean, obviously you've been telling me stuff really well, I can mm. understand what you're saying, and so I'm just curious about our processes, what's been happening here that made you feel that I've understood you? And mm. I guess I just, I feel like you're not laughing at me, like you really want to know about, like, about India and, you know, about what, what's been happening, like, for me and my family. Mm -hmm. um, but with other people, I think it's different compared yeah. to that. But, um, yeah, I think, like, there are some nice people, but um, I think if, if people kind of stop and listen and if they knew a little more, then it'd okay. be easier. So when people sort of pay attention to you and listen to what you have to say, you feel a little bit more at ease about the communication thing? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah.